Professor Richard Sandberg, a member of the Committee of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Please tell me, what is this year's prize about? This year's prize is about how you keep our immune system in check. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, our immune system is extremely powerful. We need to be able to fight off any possible microbe, even the ones we have never been exposed to before. At the same time, we need to not attack our own tissues and organs. And if we do, you know, we, we get autoimmune disorders. So this prize is about a new mechanism that keeps our immune system in check in order to only have its positive sides, but to try to remove the negative sides. Uh, very exciting. What, how is this done then? This yes. check? Yeah. Yes, so uh, our immune system, you know, they're born with a, you know, combinatorical astronomical numbers of receptors or sensors you can think of that, you know, go around and check all the cells for infected microbes or, or you know, pathological pieces. And uh, in the first step, all of these immune cells or the T cells that we're talking about here, they, they go to the thymus, an organ, and there all the ones that react on our own substances and structures, they are removed. Uh, but that is not enough. So many cells escape out into our bodies and there they can still self-react to our own organs and tissues. That's why we need this secondary mechanism, the regulatory T cells. So they are executing this function to check to make sure we are not attacking our own, our own cells and tissues. And what could happen when, when we are attacking our own cells and tissues? Yes, exactly. So that, that leads to really you know, unfortunate diseases. You know, examples are type 1 diabetes, where you know, insulin producing cells are attacked, or in rheumatoid arthritis. And, and many more autoimmune diseases. And you know, one of the clues came from an autoimmune disease called IPEX, which is much more rare. But uh, if you have a mutation in a particular gene, you develop very acute autoimmune disorders and you have you know, a full spectrum of, of disease uh, manifestations like chronic diarrhea or eczema on the skin and uh, type 1 diabetes uh, stages. So. And uh, why, are you, um, why is this prize so uh, important, would you say? I mean, it, it opens a completely new dimension, sort of, of how to think about this important immune system balance check, sort of, how to keep them in check while still having this broad repertoire. And by knowing about the existence of these regulatory T cells, we also have the ability to start thinking about how can we increase their activity or decrease their activity. So, for example, in autoimmune disorders, you know, where they're not having sufficient suppressive effect, we would like to boost their function and the order numbers and you know by this knowledge we have new ideas to explore and you know there's you know early stages and it takes a long while to develop new therapeutics but of course we have a new handle on how to attack these problems. And how could this uh, in the future uh, affect our daily lives? Yeah so I mean hopefully these approaches will be effective in order to you know stimulate these T cells, T -cells the regulatory T cells to help you suppress autoimmune disorders or maybe make organ transplantation less problematic by you know, dampening the immune system's ability to reject the new organ. And also in cancer it's being explored if one can you know, remove their suppressive ability to make it easier for immune cells to attack cancer cells. In the future. In the future, exactly. Mm -hmm. But there are over 200 clinical tests ongoing, so there's, there's a lot of activity, but of course it's a long road to travel. So what about the laureates, these three laureates? Could you tell us something about them? Yes, yeah, so I, I don't uh, know them personally. Uh, I don't think I actually have ever met any of those three. Uh, but, uh, I mean, Shimon Sakaguchi, of course, is a very uh, large mm. figure in the immunological sciences and, you know, has been following this rich tradition of, of, of Japanese immunologists. Mm. Whereas I think the other two laureates are perhaps more, more surprised by being awarded this prize for, for their very important contributions, but they also work in another, you know, one of them work in the biotech sector and the other one uh, has had a career also that is maybe not a typical academic professor career. So what kind of careers do they have that surprises us, would you say? No, but they made their discoveries in, you know, over 20 years ago in a biotech company already, and they have had different career paths from there on, but, uh, but you know, the important thing is to make a breakthrough discovery, not in the context of how you're doing it, of course. Uh, finally, um, if you would tell me in 30 seconds why you are so uh, excited about this year's prize, what would that be? 
I mean, it's a fundamental discovery about the principle that sort of keeps our immune system in check. Very important for not having us all develop autoimmune disorders. So that is the reason for me.